is on the loose in harmony. Evil I can't control. My little Endora may be in danger. Oh, must I really do this? Isn't there some other way? Oh, nothing, sweet pea. Just eat your breakfast. <sighs> Good morning, sisters. Sisters? My fellow witches! Oh, dear. Oh, it's a gorgeous day, isn't it? Mm. Oh, can't wait to use my newfound magical powers to make my life perfect. Okay. Please, wait a minute. You have already unleashed horrors beyond your comprehension. And that deal you made with the demon elf will come back to haunt you. All of us, you'll see. Uh, Tabitha, why are you always such a spoil sport? The demon elf is gone. I wouldn't count on that. Harmony better watch out because I'm gonna make this place a paradise. Hmm. This dunderhead really does have more powers than she realizes. All those prayers last night really sucked the power of evil right out of my demons. And that idiot Spike just doesn't have enough true evil to recharge them. Not to worry. I have a plan that'll revive my demons this morning. Then there'll be hell to pay. Ow! Mm. Stupid toaster's jams again. I burned my finger. Oh, well, why don't you use some of your marvelous magic to just make your breakfast appear? Oh. Well, maybe I'll just do that. Okay, and after I eat my breakfast, I'm gonna go upstairs and heal Fox from his disease. So then I can mm, finally tell him I'm leaving him to be with Miguel. <sighs> Never mind, Endora. Let her dig her own grave. So. Uh, what's on the breakfast menu, oh powerful gay? Hmm. Eggs. Hmm. A couple of nice scrambled eggs. That sounds good. Hmm. Powers of earth and fire, obey me. Make scrambled eggs. Make it snappy. Uh, you know what? What did I do wrong? out of your mouth creates a new disaster. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, what the hell happened last night? Okay, Fox, we need to talk. What the hell are you doing in our room? So never mind that, okay? You and Kay, Kay and I, we need to settle everything right now. Hey, Teresa. I got your message and I hurried over here. So what is it? What's the great news? That's interesting. I'd like to know what the great news is too. Yeah, I can't believe it. You know? Was last night a dream? No, it wasn't a dream. It was reality and let me tell you what happened. I asked you to marry me. You said yes and that means you and I are gonna get married. You know what? Yeah. I got a lot to do. So many things to do, but first and foremost, I gotta go tell Jared the truth, okay? Gotta tell Jared. It's the honorable thing to do. I gotta no, no, tell no. Him. No, wait, wait, wait. You can't tell Jared. On the bright side, dear. Egg yolk is very good for your hair. Oh, this is so funny. <sighs> okay. You just don't listen to me, do you? You can't even make a simple breakfast with your powers. How on earth are you going to heal Fox? I will. Oh, yes, life will be perfect, I don't think. 
You know, Endora is light years ahead of you in magical training, and she still makes dire mistakes on a daily basis. Look, I'm going to use my powers, and you can't stop me. My life will be perfect. End of story. Kay! Kay! Kay, come back here! Kay! Oh, rat. Oh, well, I suppose she's just going to have to work through her own problems. Thanks, Sandora. Now, I have got to figure out a way to protect you, Sweet Pea, and me. I don't care what Kay says. I know that demon elf is out there somewhere in harmony, causing chaos. And even we can't see him if he doesn't want us to. He could be closer to us right now than we even know. Get out of my room. My wife is none of your damn business. Well, that's exactly what we have to talk about, isn't it? Miguel, what are you doing in here? Well, you know what? I, I think it's time we all clear the air about everything. What are you talking about? Okay. Look, I don't want you upsetting Fox when he's so sick, okay? So, Maria, you need to go get her ready because she's gonna spend the day with your mom. I don't understand. You never have. Come on, Miguel, okay? Your mom's really looking forward to spending the day with her, so... Gosh, God knows she needs something to keep her mind off Luis. Okay, please. Go. All right, you know what? I'm going. I'm going. Oh. What the hell was that? Okay, we need to get our own place. Ow. My head. Mm. What, what, what's wrong? Is it the treatments? No, no. I feel this bump on my head. I, had, I don't really know what happened. I was asleep, and somehow the painting fell on my head. And Don't ask me how, because paintings don't just fall off walls. That doesn't make any sense. You sure you just didn't sleep in a weird position or something? I don't know. Well, don't worry, because I have the perfect cure for your headache. That's right. I was on my way looking for you. Come here. No, no, that's not what I meant. But I do need you to just lie back, relax, close your eyes, and I'll take care of everything. OK. See a little doctor patient like Father and Rebecca. Oh. Please don't ever compare me to that woman again. <laughs> okay, okay, I will obey orders, doctor. Okay. How's this? It's a start. Go ahead, stupid mortal. Use your magic. It's a waste of time using it on him. He doesn't look that sick to me. But I'll use your magic to fortify my demons. And then the dark side will make a rather unhappy meal of harmony. <laughs> okay, just keep your eyes closed. Just relax. Yes, doctor. I'm ready for your examination. Please let this work. Spirits, oh spirits. They are your mistress, Kay. My husband's mortal disease is running Amok. Heal him, oh heal him. You must obey. Carry off his disease. Ugh, what rhymes with Amok? What are you doing? Shh. Shh. Carry off his disease in a truck. Jared, I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake you up. I I just came to talk to Teresa. I'm sorry about that. Well, she was here. I, uh, where'd she go? I bet she went downstairs to get some breakfast, and I'll I'll send her up for you right now. Yeah. Are you okay? I don't know. I feel um I feel a little odd. You're gonna marry me, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna aren't marry you. you. <laughs> yes. I had a horrible 
horrible dream. It was really horrible. I'm going to tell Jared. He deserves to know the truth. No, no, you can't. What do you mean I can't? Are you kidding me? I asked you to marry me last night. You're changing your mind no, already? Ethan, I'm I mean, not... what is going on? I mean, I allow you to come into my life, and then you play another mind game with me? I don't believe this. This is insane. You win. Fine, I'm done. You know what? We're through. You're on thin ice here, Endora. Very thin ice. And we have got to be ready to protect ourselves from an unprecedented onslaught of evil. And if we get separated or, or, or I become incapacitated in some way, you have got to be able to protect yourself. So I want you to watch Mummy now, OK? And I want you to practice a few simple dark side protection spells, all right? Now watch Mummy. Green smoke, green fire, make of my enemy a funeral pot. <laughs> <laughs> you should have been around to make Kay's toast. Now you remember. Hey, now you. I want you to try and conjure up a vicious beast like Mummy's. Conjure one up right over there. With me here. You have to be able to protect yourself. <sighs> what to do? What to do? There's only one thing. But it's so drastic. <sighs> it's working. <sighs> what should I do? Should I touch him? Will that heal him? Ooh, keep it up, Cookie. I need you to transfer your power to my demons. Honey, did you open the window or something? Keep your eyes closed! I want you to help me. Help me to help you. Help me create evil. Uh -oh. Light. But it was worth it. I did it. I did it, I think. Oh. I am hot. Gosh, I think I cured him. S sweetheart, um, I'm gonna go find Miguel now, okay? You understand, I know you will. Oh, magic. That's gonna make my life. gonna make my life perfect. <sighs> Unholy smokes, that girl is powerful. I'm gonna use her magical power to jumpstart my demons. And then watch out. This summer, Chaos is renting a beach house in Harmony. <laughs> oh, I killed me. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I love you, okay? And I want us to get married. I do, okay? I did, we just can't tell Jared yet. Why the hell not? Because of the blackmailer. Because the blackmailer holds Luis's fate in his hands. All right, well, once that blackmailer is captured, killed, whatever, then we can get married, okay? I promise. 
I mean, you can understand that, right? Once the black is out of the picture and my brother is free, then we can go to Jerry, we can tell him everything, I will divorce him and we can get married. Just hearing more promises and more and more secrets, more yes, lies, more... Yes, I know. Can you just do this for me? Can you please wait to tell Jared, Ethan, if you love me, you will do this? show you another spell, Dora. I want, I want to show you how to protect yourself, all right? So watch mummy, okay? So just say goodbye to your canine friend. Oh, very good. Where did you send it? Good idea. All right, now, Endora, watch me. Listen, if you don't get with the program, I am going to have to take steps that will make our ancestors turn in their graves. Now, <sighs> protection of darkness, flash to me. Like he would rip the flesh off anyone who would attack you, right? Now you try. You try. Bird can't protect you. Oh, what's going to become of you? That's it. I thought this would happen. Well, there's only one way I know for you to learn how to protect yourself. I hope our ancestors will forgive me for this, especially my great aunt Yulaly. All right, sweet pea, come, come. <laughs> We're going to a fiendish, terrible place. I swore I'd never go. But in order to protect you, I have to betray everything I've ever stood for. Ready? OK. I can do this. Just heal the box with my magic. Now I just have to use it to bring the girl back to me, Maria, and the three of us can be a family. Everyone will be happy. I draw Maria from my mother's. Oh, great. I'm sure that will cheer your mom up. Listen, you want to tell me what's going on? About what? About us, Kay. Our lives are a total mess right now. No, our lives will be perfect. Yeah, we'll start anywhere because Fox is still in the picture, Kay. Did, just let me think for a second. <laughs> Miguel? What did I do? <gasps> I froze him. Oh my God. <laughs> she would die if she could see me now. <gasps> I'm getting into control of my powers. Hmm. Now that I've got you like this, did you stand any improvements? No. Nope. I think you're perfect the way you are. You're like a living doll. Oh, that's why I'm so in love with you. Hmm, what could I do with you? Hmm. I could dress my living doll up to fulfill my fantasies. What would I do? Hmm, what do I want to see you be? Ooh. I like the movie 300. Okay. Warrior of Sparta. Attack me. Me <laughs> <laughs> and my big mouth. Arise, my demons. Come to me. It's breakfast time. Come and get it! <sighs> bing, 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 bing!
Thank you, Kay. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? residents of Harmony. Create chaos, murder, mayhem, tragedy and despair, and maybe a little bad hair while you're at it. <laughs> Unhappy hunting, my darlings. Don't forget to write when you get work. For your lesson of the day, lesson number one. Kill Miguel. Miguel must die. Miguel must die. Yes! One more time, please. Kill Miguel. Miguel must die. Miguel must die. Yes! <laughs> You're such a good student. All right. All right. I will... I will wait for you. But as soon as this blackmailer is caught, we are going public. We are going public with our relationship, oh, yes, okay? Yes, yes, All right. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> And then, then, my love, hey, then you're getting the fastest divorce in history, okay? And then you're gonna marry me. That's right. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Well, well, well. Oh, hi. <laughs> it's good to know that someone's in a good mood around here. Ooh, I'm in, in a great mood, okay? This is the best morning ever. Yeah. And as usual, I'm probably gonna keep my mouth shut and you're gonna tell Whitney everything. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, then I will go check on Lil Ethan and Jane and I will see you later. Okay. Mm. Mm. See ya. <laughs> oh, God. I got the best news. Before you get started, you need to know that I was just upstairs a few minutes ago and Jared's awake. He wants to know where you are. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, yeah, I should, uh... I should go up to see him. I should. I should tell him good morning. And but I can't. I can't yeah. I gotta tell you this. I got the most amazing news. Okay. You ready? 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 Uh -huh. Ethan and I. We're getting married. I mean, after all these years, I mean, we are getting married. Wow. I know. Okay. I mean, there's nothing that can stand in the way of our happiness. It must have been a dream. I never remember my dreams. What else wouldn't do that to me? Would she? Damn it. Damn it. Damn it! our very best spells of love and happiness and hope in the very best school for good witches in any universe you can name. Good morning, good morning honey. honey. Good morning, class. Good morning, good morning Mr. C. Now, my angels, I have a treat. Today, we are going to learn how to make rainbows and candy canes! <laughs> but first we have a present for you. For me? For your thousand and eleventh birthday. Than receiving a gift? Yeah. Giving a gift! That's right! Ah. 
Watch this. Apple pie for everyone for snack time! Yay! Perhaps we could be naughty and put off our lessons for just a moment. And? Dance the birthday dance for Clarabelle! <laughs> Tibby when you need one. All this icky, icky goodness could be the death of me. Ahem. Salutations. It's Tabitha Lennox! Save yourself! What am I doing? Dressing my man up in costumes. Oof, that is like Rebecca. Ooh. Hey, maybe she's a witch too. No, Tabitha would have said something. Well, there's no harm done. I just want to have a little bit more fun with you. Hmm, what could we do? <laughs> Ooh, I know. You could give me a massage. Oof, we're never alone together. Okay, you're gonna give me a massage. Let's see, what do we need? We need a massage table. Spirits, a table. Perfect. Okay. On the count of three, you'll be unfrozen. You won't remember anything that happened in the last few minutes. One, two, three. Think about what? Okay. Oh, what just happened? What do you mean? Uh, we were just talking, right? And where'd this massage table come from? Oh, I, <laughs> I just set it up. I thought maybe you'd want to give me a massage. Right now. No, forget about it, okay? We have to talk about Fox. This whole thing is getting out of hand, okay? <sighs> no massage. Okay. Wouldn't you rather just... Give me a massage. What the hell with the massage? I want to make love to you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you and Ethan are getting married. Yeah, wow. Isn't that great? <laughs> that would be great, but um, what about Jared, your husband? <laughs> okay, well, you know, actually, Ethan wanted to go tell Jared, and I stopped him. Um, so uh, once the blackmailer is captured, we're going to go to Jared, and we are going to tell him everything. Uh-huh. And Ethan's okay with that? I mean, I, you know, I, I yeah, he's okay. He, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. So. Right. Um, you know what you should do? You should do the right thing here. Okay, just tell Jared the truth now. And while you're at it, go ahead and tell Ethan that little Ethan is really his son. No, 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 I can't do that. Okay, the blackmailer is Louise's only hope at the moment. All right, and once Louise is free and that blackmailer is out of commission... Okay, out of permission. What do you, what do you mean? Oh, okay, once he's in jail... No, you're hoping that he's killed, aren't you? So you won't have to tell Ethan the truth at all. I mean, yes, I mean, I can't, I can't help it, okay? I mean, Ethan, he's never going to forgive me when he finds out that I've been lying to him about his son all this time. You know, the only way that I can come out of this mess unscathed is if they find that blackmailer, they kill him, and they find some information that will prove that my brother is innocent. That's a pipe dream. Well, that's what I'm praying for, you know? There's no other threat out there in the world except that blackmailer. Yeah, I'll be in the office soon. I had to get little Ethan off to school. <laughs> no, Jane is with her grandmother. Okay, I'll see you soon. Jared.
was afraid this might happen. My reputation precedes me. Endora, sweet pea, will you help Mummy out, please? And sweet, sweet butterflies! Girls, snap out of it! That's impossible! How can a bad witch... The baddest of all bad witches... ...cast a spell that creates sweet, sweet butterflies and unicorns? Class, let's all put our magical thinking caps on and ponder this interesting... Stop, question. stop, stop. Hold your horses. She interrupts, too. Hmm. Rude as well as bad. Yes, I'm bad. I'm bad and mad and dangerous to know. And I revel in it. However, my daughter might... And I emphasize the word might be a good witch. What? 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 Ladies, ladies, your goody two shoes act is affecting your brains. You sound like a bunch of chickens. Now she calls us names. Now, just let me finish, please. My daughter Endora and I are in a bit of a pickle. She has to learn how to protect herself. And for some strange reason, she can't quite get the hang of uh, protection spells from the dark side. So it seems she might have to be taught here. The daughter of Tabitha Lennox? In a school for good witches? It's an emergency, you understand. Speaking of chickens, it seems the chickens have come home to roost. <laughs> <laughs> you must know there is only one witch who can decide if Endora can be admitted to this school. Yes, I know. But where is she? I'll go get her. Come, children. I can't believe I'm doing this. The terrible things we do for love. Yes. Here you go, yes. Are you a man or a mouse? You can't just let Miguel make love to your wife like that. Can you? Miguel must die. He must die. I don't know, Teresa. Can you be happy for me? I'm trying, honey. I, I, I really am, but I'm worried about you. I know how long you've loved Ethan. Yeah, I know, you know, and I just feel like after all these years, we deserve to be happy. You know what, with all the evil going on in the world, you two deserve to beat the odds. Thanks. Just pray there's nothing else out there that could come between us. Hey, 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 take it easy, take it easy. What the hell is wrong with you? Would you hear, did you hear me talking to Teresa or what? You look awfully strange, man. What is going on? All right, fine. What the hell is going on? You will pay. This is unbelievable. What's going to happen when she comes face to face with Tabitha? They've hated each other for eons. There's sure to be fireworks. This could be the biggest battle in the history of witches. Oh, I adore fireworks. <laughs> She's coming. She's coming. She's coming. Esmeralda. 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 Meet again. 
You're gonna have to stop this. You have to kill Miguel. Kill him. Must kill Miguel. Kill Miguel. But don't just say it, do it! Trying to kill me? What the hell is wrong with you? Huh? Kill you. Russell and my son has been kidnapped. It was hate on sight. You 